Today's reading is all about the person on your mind and how they see you or how they perceive you. So for some of you, this will be a romantic connection and for others, it could be a platonic connection. We're going to go in and have a look at whatever information we get through about how they see your personality, um, perhaps how they see your connection to them, maybe how they see you externally, as in actually see you um, visually. Anything we get through um, with the cards, we'll be discussing that as we go along through the reading today. Okay, let's get into choosing the piles. We have got for pile one, this beautiful stone. Now, I can't remember the actual name of this one, but I'm so drawn to this. It is gorgeous with the banding through it. It had something about Atlantis attached to the name. I do know that. Um, for those that perhaps are drawn to Atlantis as a um, concept, I guess, is the best way for me to put it because... Um, you know, people have different beliefs about Atlantis. But if you were drawn to Atlantis, you might be drawn to this particular stone. This is paired with, I'm going to flip them today, the Innocence of Pentacles. And these cards are all from the beautiful Naked Heart Tarot. So if you are drawn to the Innocence of Pentacles, which correlates with the page here, I believe, then you will be pile one, or perhaps you're drawn to this stone. So let me just pop that up there. I don't even like to cover the pictures because they're so gorgeous. Okay, pile two, we have some carnelian. Beautiful carnelian. I always try to make the um, crystals roughly the same size, and I just feel that it's... Um, makes it easier to choose if they're roughly the same size because then you don't think oh maybe I'm drawn to that one because it's larger and it has a bigger impact so I try to kind of make them the same ten of pentacles with the beautiful elephant on it so if you're drawn to the ten of pentacles with the carnelian you'll be pile two and pile three you have the beautiful lapidolite one of my favorite stones as well I feel like I say that to all of them, don't I? <laughs> okay, and that's paired with the beautiful Five of Pentacles. I just love the um, the artwork with the white backgrounds. I feel like it's so impactful. So I'll pop the Lapidia light there. All right. Feel free to pause at this point. I know sometimes people like to. Sometimes people like to also just get a visual of the person they're asking about or tune into the energy of the person they're asking about or the connection. Whatever works for you, there's no right or wrong. I'm going to timestamp each of these piles. I'm going to do the shuffle. That will be at the end. And I will see you at your timestamp. See you there. Okay, beautiful pile one. Let's put your crystal there. Your oracle cards up here. <clears throat> We've got the Innocence of Pentacles sitting up there. And let's have a look at your tarot cards. So we've got the Sun, the Three of Wands, the Devil. Actually, I just want to pause here for a moment, part one. And just talk about these cards for a moment because this looks like someone who sees you as having worked quite hard to integrate um, your light and shadow as having perhaps moved through some quite challenging restrictions in your past Okay, I feel really called to delve into this, but seeing you as someone who has worked hard to get to a place where you are more whole or feeling like you can express yourself in a more um, whole way and that this is leading you to be able to bring about manifestation into your 3D world. 
a manifestation that is 100% coming from you. And I'm getting the word simple as I'm looking at this innocence of pentacles. So some of you may feel like what you are manifesting at the moment may appear like it's in its early stages or it appears like a simple life. Maybe you've made life simpler. That's been a very deliberate um, step. Or there could be something about you feeling like there's more that you want to expand on with where you're taking your manifestation or developing what's around you in a physical sense. I'm being called back here to something about um, where you're coming from. The way that this person is looking at where you're coming from, your journey to get to where you are now, because they're looking at you as someone who has been through some kind of deep process. And to me, this feels like a process of moving from a place of restriction. And I'm getting a sense of when I talk about restriction, it feels like being in a space of not being able to express all facets of yourself and maybe even feeling like it was only okay to be in this uh, positive energy, in an energy that others were comfortable for you to express. There could have been judgment around you connecting in with what some people perceive as negative emotions or emotions that didn't feel convenient for others. I'm being shown the Eight of Swords and the sense I'm getting as I'm um, tapping into this card's energy at this moment is one of you may be receiving a message about you're not being restricted, you can be yourself, even though technically you may have been free to be yourself, but there was judgment attached to that or a sense of restriction that could have been not tangible. So when I say not tangible, it's like, sure, I can be myself and I can express, you know, all of the aspects and facets of what I'm feeling but if I do that, there'll be some kind of imposed, I'm getting judgment again, imposed It's like it's an infringement, or it's like you're 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 stepping out of not just expectations, but there could be like a penalty of sorts in the way that perhaps you're treated or looked at. That's what it feels like. It feels like you've stepped out of it, and it feels really traditional and like these are the rules this is how we do things around here and I don't um, see why you need to be any different or step out of it it's not necessarily that you would have been trying to step out for the sake of stepping out you look here to have been wanting to just be yourself fully embrace yourself and be able to express what you're feeling and this person seeing you as someone who does now express what you feel but it's because you've been on this long journey um, of having to push back fight against whatever this restriction was for many of you and for some of you that meant walking away from either something or it feels like it may have even been more than just one person it could have been like a group or family situation some kind of restrictive confining environment that just wasn't conducive to you being you being feeling fully in your energy it was like you were allowed to be a part of you or express a part of you. But if you're only expressing a part of you, you're not really expressing you, right? You're just getting to be a um, shell, really, that is what others want you to be and going through the motions. And that could have been a big part of why you pushed back. And that's what this person seems to look at you and see, that you're someone who 
fought back against any type of oppression, any type of restriction. You, your freedom and your self-expression are a huge key here. And because you fought for that, you are able to move forward and manifest this new world and this new outward um, environment and expression of your inner world so even though it is showing up here as this innocence of pentacles is page energy and it may seem new it may seem fresh it may seem um, basic or simple it is authentic and it's beautiful because it's coming from you and it's 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 your truth okay so you don't want to be in an energy of looking like you have all of this abundance but it's not truly abundance because you can't express whereas here you're coming up as someone who is fully embracing all facets of themselves their light their shadow and because of that they're now creating a world where they can do that okay and even if you are in the early stages <clears throat> in the early stages of that and starting to build on this world that you've created for yourself this person sees that as such a powerful step to take. And what I'm also getting, um, for those who are resonating with this message, because I'm now getting the infinity symbol, this person feels that you are able to tap in and express as well. So tap into and also express emotions from day to day. I'm not necessarily saying they shift from day to day. Well, I guess our emotions frequently do, but you're able to sit with them, to flow with them, um, to move with your emotions because you have been to these places before and you know that your emotions are an outward manifestation of your inner world and that they're important to you. You value them. Okay. And this person, I feel, respects that and also may wish that they could do this to some extent. They may even wish that they could break away from some restrictive energy in their own life. But I am getting a sense that I'm getting the word fear. They may fear it. There could also be some kind of material loss that they fear around that or some sort of comfort. Of course, there is comfort for some people in familiarity, so it could even just come down to that. But certainly there's admiration for you in what you have done in terms of moving past some past restrictions and setting your world up to be the way you want it. And um, the other thing that I was just about to say that there's almost a rebellious spirit here that comes through but you may see yourself as a bit of an outsider and I'm getting the word quirky as well so you may feel that you're a little bit quirky or a little bit different it could be because of these past experiences that I was talking about earlier where I said you may have um, had something unique about your background that not many people have experienced I just want to sit with that for a moment. Yeah, there could be something very unique either about growing up or something you've been connected to. Could be a group. It could be anything. Could even be work. But there could be something unique about your background that not many people either have knowledge of or have experienced. But um, that could be a part of what makes you feel a little bit different, unique. But that's where the beauty uh lies you know that that's part of the beauty of this is you know well I think it is and I feel like that is what this person how they look at you they look at you as someone who's really prepared to stand up and say this is me world and I'm going to take my space in the world I'm going to take my place and I'm not going to conform to something that doesn't feel right for me just because it's tradition just because you, whoever is you is, or this group, or this um, these people, or whatever, think that this is the right pathway for me, I'm not going to necessarily um, for, fold into place, okay, fall into place. I'm going to create my own pathway here, and I'm going to march to the beat of my own drum. And sometimes that can feel like a bit of a lonely journey but this person doesn't see you that way they see you as 
taking a lot of power from that, taking a lot of um, being very powerful and being able to manifest and create because of this um, preparedness to stand against the status quo and to challenge things that don't align with you, okay, and to question tradition I'm getting. Hmm, okay. All right, let's keep moving with the next cards here. So there we've got Page of Pentacles again. So this was very intentional. At some point, this became very intentional for you to perhaps break away and do your own thing, to move towards your own happiness, to take an alternative path to what others had planned out for you is what I'm getting. It may not have been intentional initially when you first recognize that I don't like this feeling of having to always um, fall into place. I get that again. Okay, fall into place or be what others want me to be and repress feelings, emotions, perhaps wants and desires that I have within me. There could have been also um, some invalidating of feelings that came along with this as well. You know, if there was emotions that came up for you and then, you know, well, no, that's not important. Or why are you worrying about that? That's silly. There could have been some of that too. And then a recognition within you that, no, that's not okay by me. I'm, I'm not okay to live my life like that. I want something more. I want something where feelings are recognized as being important uh, like I was saying where they're recognized as being outward manifestations of my inner world so then at some point it became a very conscious thing I feel because you've got page of pentacles twice this is a slow um, process it hasn't happened quickly and this person also sees you as someone who's patient but you know as I'm saying that I'm getting that some of you may not feel patient with the process or may not have felt patient with the process, you may see yourself as more, um, as having been more frustrated along the way than this person sees you. I get the feeling with these cards that they see you as very much always in control and very much like you've got a handle on all this. They know it's been a process for you. They know that you have managed to integrate these parts of yourself, that you're ready to embrace these emotions, that you're working on manifesting this world and you already have started to do that. This world that um, allows you to express and allows you to form connections with others who are interested in self-expression and... Um, Yet they may not recognize just what went into it, the emotion, the energy, the fire and the passion and the doubts and the how hard it was. That's what I'm getting. They may not uh, be really recognizing that simply because they haven't walked in those shoes. Seven of Cups in reverse. So, you know, with this innocence of pentacles up here, it's so, so beautiful and also lots of earth energy coming through here with the devil card, the two page cards or the innocence of pentacles and the page here. But with the, um, sorry, with the innocence of pentacles, I do feel that this person sees you as um, it literally um, having quite an innocent energy, but I don't mean innocent as in naive. I don't at all feel that this person sees you as naive. I feel like they see you as innocent, as in pure. Like what you say is without agenda. You don't uh, manipulate, you don't, you, you recognize the dangers of manipulation. 
perhaps because of your past experiences, not just perhaps, I feel definitely because of your past experiences, you recognise the dangers and the wrongs of manipulation. You don't endeavour to manipulate others. You don't um, appreciate manipulation and you're certainly not naive. So what you say is without agenda. It comes from the heart. And that's not to say that your heart just bam, opens, you don't wear your heart on your sleeve. I don't get that at all. But you do have an open heart if you understand what I'm saying by the difference there. So it's like you have an open heart, you're very giving, very kind, but you don't sort of go and splash that all out around the world with an outward throwing around of emotions. It takes a little bit of time for you to... Mm, warm I feel with people with this seven of cups in reverse which was connecting me in with that um, message up there about the innocence I feel like you also are very good at detecting um, truths and understanding what you want to take on board so for example if somebody were to come to you and ask you to uh, read something and to take on board that information, you would be very good at working out whether you wanted to, um, like you question things. You, you'd be very good at working out whether you wanted to really just take that straight on if it felt right immediately and it aligned with what you already knew or whether you wanted to just let that sit for a while like you wanted to let it process wanted to see if it needs to go through the filters i don't get a hugely logical energy here like a, okay step one step two step three i don't get that kind of feeling with you but I get a feeling of, um, and we're talking about how this person sees you. So when I'm talking, think of it as how this person is seeing you, okay? It's not seeing you so much as logical as in steps and calculating and stuff like that. More as in you are a very, um, your mind's very good at understanding things, okay? So you're very clever. I put it that way. And so you're able to see through illusions and to sift through things and to let things filter. But they don't just go through this logical step. They go through the, your emotional filter, your intuitive filters, your information filters. And then also you may gather other information um, like alternative viewpoints as well if it doesn't sit right with you. So it's like a whole filtering system, not just a matter of step one, step two, step three, write it down on paper and make a list. I don't get that so much. I get that it's more nuanced and more um, sophisticated, maybe is the right word for it. So this person does not see that you would easily have the wool pulled over your eyes or be prompted to follow anybody or anything and I was about to say to follow any cause and as I was about to say that I did get a sense that some of you may actually um, be promoting or backing some causes because up here this is a real energy of fighting for your own freedom okay and a sense of your own independence, a sense of your own freedom, a sense of your own emotional freedom, freedom from, some of you, freedom from ties that were handed down to you through maybe, maybe even freedom from generational stuff that you have worked through, but it feels like that you've worked hard for your own freedom and maybe some of you even work on other causes that are important to you but you're not going to be um, easily pulled into anything that you don't believe in and that doesn't sit right with you you're very um, much not a person who gets up in your head and illusions about things okay so they see you as very clear-headed and the four of pentacles in reverse so they also see you as very generous and you know back to this card at the top is that wax back to this card at the top with the innocence of pentacles i was talking about them seeing you as someone who 
maybe at the early stages and beginning stages of manifesting this new world and this new life for yourself. But, you know, even if you identify and connect with that message of, um, you know, this being new for you and maybe you feel like you're at the beginning stages of creating your abundance, okay? I feel like even if you are, that you're extremely generous, generous with your material resources like what you have but also generous with your time and generous with your heart and once again i don't get that in terms of running around splashing your emotion out and everywhere but you're not afraid to express emotion and to recognize the connectedness of us all and um it doesn't scare you to to know that not everyone is going to reciprocate and that's okay like you're okay with that it's not your happiness and your centeredness does not um, center around other people's responses to you okay and that's a beautiful thing so this person sees you as very strong and i would go as far as to say and remember, it needs to resonate with you. But I would go as far as to say that they see you perhaps as stronger than you even um, see yourself at times. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look at your oracle cards. <clears throat> so we've got independent. And, you know, the thing about this card... That's no surprise, is it? But the thing about this card is I'm very much drawn to the road in it. So this is a journey. This is something that, um, and she's at the beginning here too, isn't she? So she's got a bag. So it could literally mean for some of you that you have traveled, like traveled distance. This could be a part of setting up this new life. They could see you as someone who's set up in a new area, new life. Um, but with this road, it's ahead of her. So there's more to go. There's more to travel here. It's not like they, they're seeing you as like, oh, yeah, pile one's done it all. They've gotten all their goals met. They're seeing you as someone who's got goals. And what is that in the distance? I've got my glasses on, but I don't feel like my eyes are that good, even with the glasses sure what that is maybe a cat that could be about um connecting in with your intuition which i do feel you're definitely doing i'm not 100 percent sure that is a cat but um definitely this is someone who is starting a journey and her stride looks confident the sun's shining the the, the uh the sun's shining, but at the moment she's in the shade. So at the moment there may still be some things that are overshadowing you connected to where you've come from. You might still feel like you're doing some tying up some loose ends, moving forward, just trying to break through. But it does look like you are almost there. Like there's been a lot behind you. I get a sense of her already having come a long way. Even though she's at the beginning of this card, I feel like the road is back you know it's back here so they see you as someone who has um made a lot of progress made a lot of movement holding grudges you know i don't get a sense of you holding a grudge perhaps they feel that there are some grudges or they feel that someone's holding a grudge against you maybe hmm interesting take that how it connects but um that won't be for everyone, but that's an interesting card to have here. And gratitude, yes. I do believe they see you as someone who is coming from a place of gratitude and that this is a big part of how you are managing to, you've managed to make this big shift and how you're managing to continue to transform things in your life, okay? Yeah, there's definitely gratitude. Beautiful. All right. Just want to sit with these cards for a second longer.
There could also be a sense from this person that um, the things that you're doing in your life, uh, you're they're, like they're getting a sense from you of real freedom here because like I'm just connecting in with these wings here and these arms. It's like, finally, I can do all of this stuff. So they may have felt that you were very held back. And we, I did talk about restriction, but they might have felt that you were held back from even doing a lot of things, not just feeling a lot of things. It could have been that your life experiences were limited, even though you have been through stuff that some other people have not um, experienced. There may be common experiences that you missed out on, it could be as simple as, um, I don't know, it could be even simple everyday things or maybe there's certain studies that you wish that you had have done that you were hoping you would have done earlier in life and they're seeing you as someone that now you have these opportunities. So, that, so I feel like they're saying pile one now can do the things that they would have wished they had have done before but they weren't able to do. You're ready. Look at that. Yeah, they're seeing you as someone very ready, very open to things, very let your emotions come and go. <laughs> wow, that's what I talked about earlier. So that that was that infinity symbol. You can let that let your emotions uh, flow. That's what they're getting from you, and that's what they admire about you. So they really do see you as um, very powerful. This feeling too shall pass. Now, talking about how this person sees you as very powerful. Paul, one, do you see yourself as very powerful? Because this feeling too shall pass. What's going on for you that perhaps your feeling is sticking around or is... Um, let's have a look. Let's get another deck here. Let's get the Thelema Tarot. What is this this feeling shall too shall pass? The hermit. What else? One more. So with the hermit there, pile one, there could be something about um feeling like you're alone and having to be your own guiding light and having to look inwards and feeling like you don't um, have anyone to help you with direction, particularly if in the past you really connected with that message I was getting through about someone re being restrictive or a group or a tradition or some kind of thing around you that felt restrictive. Sometimes restriction can also involve, well, usually restriction also involves direction, right? And although that can feel like a negative thing if it, you know it's not well restriction doesn't usually feel good but um you know direction can sometimes feel good particularly if we're feeling lost and so there may be a sense of feeling like you've got to make all the decisions on your own you really have to draw on everything from within here with this hermit energy uh, looking Inwards for self-love here can be the other thing too with the Page of Cups and feeling like you're giving out. You may be giving out um, care here with the Page of Cups to others, but feeling like you're not getting... It's, it's kind of like who who cares for the carer kind of thing, you know, like who's giving love to the one who's giving out the love, like feeling like you just like to be wrapped up sometimes and have someone just make the decisions just just for a little while not not all the decisions not restrict you not tell you your feelings are not important not minimize you know your emotions or tell you that you know anything coming from your shadow is bad or things like that but just be there for me or listen to me or it, and it doesn't have to necessarily be a romantic partner. Some of you may be in romantic connections. It could be um, a friend. It could be any kind of connections. But there could definitely here be a sense of feeling like you're a bit tired of having to hold this lamp like this hermit here with the, this feeling shall pass and being a bit tired of being the giver that's what I'm getting here being the giver and not the receiver so that's what this person seems to be recognizing you're definitely a giver you're standing very strong you're calling on deep you know reserves here to move through this journey to establish 
something to establish um, uh, your outward 3D material world because you've done a lot of inner work here. You're still working on it. It's still a journey, but I feel like all of us, it's always a journey, okay? But they see you as hugely independent, hugely strong. There's a lot of admiration. Also a desire for some of them, like I said, to do the same thing, but a fear in doing that. So whoever this person is to you, um, I mean, I feel like it, it can be different people for different um, different people for different viewers, but yeah, it's they seem to have a part of the picture, but perhaps not the full depth of how it feels for you, okay? Well, they see this feeling to shall pass because we're looking from there. Things. So they know, but they're, they're looking at it as temporary and perhaps you're feeling that I'm just tired, I just want a bit of time out or a bit of a holiday or something like that. Okay, so let's finish off with some charms here. We've got the flame. The flame always reminds me of that um, saying of holding a torch for someone, you know, where where the uh, flame doesn't go out. The little koala always connects me with Australia. These crabs have been stalking this, these readings the last few weeks. We've got cancer. The tarot card, so you could be a tarot reader or you might be watching lots of readings on this person we've got the little bird so there could be messages going back and forth we've got an n so the needle always reminds me of the truth you know the truth serum <laughs> it always reminds me of that a little phone a v and a mask you know, I absolutely um, feel that the mask is not connected to your present and that anyone who was wearing a mask would be quickly seen through by you because that's the energy I get from you for this reading. So let me just pull a few of these cards that I was writing on because I feel drawn to, to pull them for some reason. So let's just see what we get. And again, we've got Cancer, In So Deep, I want us to create plans together, Distracted and Self-Care. Hmm. So they could go either way, but we're talking about how this person sees you. So definitely with the self-care, I get that they're seeing you as someone who is um, putting your self-care as a very high priority, but also someone who may be feeling a bit drained, like I was saying, and wanting some care to be reciprocated back to them, like might be giving out a lot. I want us to create plans together. Take them if and as they resonate for you, but I did feel called to pull those cards right towards the end there. Let me just look on the bottom. Oh. Superficial. That's the opposite of what I get you being. Hmm. Maybe this person thinks that you see them as superficial. All right, well, we'll leave it at that. I hope that these messages were helpful to you. I feel like um, your reading was uh, very direct in um, what it came through with and that you will know if that was your story about um, 
moving out of something from your past that was very restrictive, rebuilding this life for yourself. Um, if so, I just want to say that that is absolutely amazing to be able to do that and to be working on integrating these parts of yourself, even if you're feeling like you're in these early stages of manifesting, that is it's incredible. You know, people go their entire lives and don't even come close to doing that. So, um, you know, sending you so much love and you should just be so proud of that journey that you're taking. Okay, bye-bye. See you later. Okay, beautiful pile two. Let's put your carnelian here. Your oracle cards over there. Your ten of pentacles there. And let's have a look. So you've got four cards for this Naked Heart um, Tarot instead of three. You've got the Lovers, Strength, the Hermit, and the Two of Wands. Four of them came out and I just felt like they wanted to come out. So we've got them here. Okay. And then we've got the Emperor. The Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Right, so pile two. So regardless of who this connection is with pile two, I feel like this is someone who sees you as being super abundant here with this ten of pentacles and very successful whatever their idea of success is and of course different people have different ideas about what success is some people think it's to do with our work and our material success and others think it's about family and friends and then others think it's about our personal growth and our spiritual growth but whatever this person sees success as, they feel like you have achieved it. You have, you've got it going on, pile two. <laughs> you've, you're there, okay? And also with the Ten of Pentacles, outwardly, like appearance-wise, they may feel like you're quite abundant, either in, you know, the way that you appear. You could have very rounded features. I'm very drawn to the trunk on this elephant, but however it is, however this abundance shows, whether it's really luxurious hair or it's a, a curviness or whatever it is, they feel that it's very attractive and magnetic. And they may even feel like you dress or present in a way that is quite um, like using rich colors or things that are really stand out and don't blend in it could be your environment environment as well you know rather than neutrals you might like say rich fabrics and textures or something along that that um line and they may feel too that that is part of your strength part of what captures people's attention about you whether intentional or not but certainly they see this is super attractive, whether it's romantic or not. I mean, it can be platonic um, connections can still acknowledge that someone's magnetic and attractive or charismatic or whatever it is. Now, interestingly, even though they see you this way, they may feel like you're a bit shut off from them or reclusive from them at the moment. And that could be to do with you either having a lot of responsibilities or a lot going on we've got virgo energy there we've got aries energy here leo gemini it does seem like this person wants to get closer to you wants to connect with you on a deeper level and form some kind of alliance allegiance work together to grow something, have a partnership. Like I said, for many it will be love. Notice that love heart in the middle, but not for everyone. They see you as very clever, very smart. 
and someone who takes downtime, you know, you, you don't, um, even though you can get into this social mode and you're very good at articulating what you want to say to people, a great communicator, that's what I'm getting here with this page of swords next to the emperor, you're a great communicator, but you then take time out, you retreat. I'm getting this hermit energy as um, you being a person that needs downtime. So perhaps you're... Perhaps you identify as a, like an, is it, a, do they call it an ambivert? Like you can kind of fluctuate from being extroverted in certain situations where it's called for, but then you really retreat. Oh, that's really an introvert. Like you recharge when you're in that retreat mode, when you're in that quiet space. So perhaps you identify as an introvert, but when the time comes, you can really, um, be quite social and get out there. And do you know the other message that's coming through with this emperor is not only are you great at communicating and perhaps some sort of leadership as well, okay? People listen to you. People love to hear what you have to say. But I'm getting that you have a really good ability to know who, not just to know, but also to communicate with people in a way that either keeps them at an arm's length distance if you don't feel that that relationship is one that you really want to open up to fully or to bring them closer if you feel that this is a positive connection and they're interested in coming closer. So you're able to um, guide connections in a way that is healthy for you. Yeah, there definitely could be something about leadership here and that could be what this person's wanting to um, really connect with you. It's it's like they feel that they want to get close to you, but they're not going to be the one making the decision. You're going to be the one making the decision. Pile two is in the driver's seat here and no matter how much I admire them or how attracted I am to them in on whatever level that is, if I want to take this further, which I do from the looks of what I can see here, then I'm going to need to find a way to, um, I, I'm going to need to find a way to do that, to get into Pile 2's, uh, onto Pile 2's radar for some of them, or back into Pile 2's uh, circle. <coughs> because I get that there's different situations um, being drawn to this key here that this owl has. So your ideas come to you when you're alone and then you take them forward to the world. Then you take them out and perhaps some of you then take these ideas out and discuss them with others. Maybe this person's seen that in action. So they know that um, I'm getting the word creative genius. I mean, that sounds intense, okay, to say creative genius but maybe that's how this person sees you, that you have this amazing creative um, drive and power behind you. I am also getting a song and a word, and I'm going to put it out there. It's The word is Corvette. The song is Little Red Corvette. It's a Prince song from many years ago. Uh, I don't know anything about cars, full disclaimer, <laughs> accept their colors okay um i don't know i know that they're expensive cars so i guess i do know something about cars but um maybe someone who's listening to this poll is a prince fan or the person who they're asking about is a prince fan or maybe that word or that vehicle has some meaning but i i'm just um trusting these messages as they come through the first six months of the channel I was just like there's no way I'm going to say that <laughs> and then I, now I'm just that's it it's it's happening so if it resonates it does and if not that's okay too let's just keep moving with the reading let's get some of these Thelema tarot so they see you as abundant they want to get closer to you form a deeper connection here 
but they're not sure I feel how to do that because they feel like you hold the power in this situation. And that you're very um, smart and see through things here with this Emperor card and the Page of Swords, of course. Show me more about this. I'll just turn these. I've got cards all over the place here. Okay. Spirit, show me more about Pile 2, please. of cups you know pile two i'm very much drawn back um, repeatedly to that lover's card to the heart between their beaks and their chest there so perhaps for pile two, it won't be for everyone that it's a romantic interest, but maybe for pile two, more of you will be called here for who it is a romantic connection. We've got the Ace of Cups here, and the Ace of Cups isn't always about, you know, love. It's about self-love as well. So this person certainly sees you as, um, I was about to say looking out for yourself, and that, that could be taken as a selfish way in the wrong way but that's not how I mean it and not that there's anything selfish about looking out out for yourself okay but this person sees you as really having a deep understanding of self-love and the importance of it and maybe having worked at that um, quite hard and being prepared to stand up for um, stand up for yourself and make sure that you are protecting your boundaries. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Because when I was down here, it was about boundaries. And now again, I'm feeling that this Ace of Cups is about boundaries as well. And you being prepared to protect yourself from anyone or anything that doesn't, that might try and overstep those boundaries. And I'm, I'm not saying that this person is necessarily trying to do that. But you take time to... Uh, to get to know people, to understand what the connection is about, what that person wants, and to decide whether you want to let them come closer than arm's length. And that's how this person's seeing you. They know that they can't rush this. They need to take their time. But I feel like they may feel for some of them that it's been a while, that they've known you for a while, or that things haven't moved or shifted. And even for some, that there's been a pause like a long pause and that nothing has changed or moved and they're wanting things to ramp up to go to the next level let's look on the bottom here the seven of <clears throat> cups in reverse yeah i don't feel like this person really knows how to get things going to get things moving all right and for some there is going to be emotion attached to you like there are going to be deep emotions with this connection. There's certainly lots of admiration. I can see that. This person looks up to you a lot. It's like they um, are very, very aware. Look at that. Now, they kind of flipped, but I'm just going to hold them this way upright because I feel called to and because the deck was kind of on its side there. So we've got the Emperor and Death. You'll be the one who decides if this situation transforms. So they feel like they're waiting. They're waiting. Perhaps some of them are waiting, hoping an idea comes to them as to how they can come towards you. But they're seeing you as someone who is holding the key because I remember I said before I was drawn to that owl with the key. Let me just pull this down. They also want to um, try and understand what's going on inside your mind and they feel like they don't, um, they can't read you, okay? So even though looking at these cards, we can see that, you know, there's lots about you that they've decided you're very abundant, you're very attractive, you have a lot of personal power and a lot of communication skills, they want to take things further with you, they want to form some sort of allegiance, 
they see that you hold the keys to connections to growth perhaps they feel like you hold the key to some sort of growth for them also there are parts of you and aspects of you that they don't understand and what I'm feeling here is that they particularly don't un understand or feel like they have knowledge of or insight into how you feel about them or what you want from you from the connection with them Sometimes they feel like they get a glimpse. But then they feel like, no, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if Pile 2 really is um, on board with me. Does Pile 2, would they be interested in collaborating with me, with working with me, with coming together with me, with having a connection with me, whatever it is here. They may even be um, a little bit overthinking whether you are thinking about them as well. The other thing that I get, um, because I'm being drawn to the shield here, is that they may be um, extra cautious, okay, because they could be suffering some kind of self-esteem thing when, it, when they think about coming towards you and even talking about this venture or this alliance that they want to form with you, they may feel like your shield will go up. Like, will you pick up the shield and will that make you... Will that ruin their chances? So rather than coming straight towards you and saying what they would like or where they'd like things to go with you, they hold back and just hope that you will perhaps initiate things or that they'll be able to see the situation more clearly. I'm getting um, some, sorry, it's something to, to, it sounded like absinthe, you know that um, drink, does anyone drink that? Or it sounded like that, but I was just sitting with it trying to see if I could get uh, it to come back and come through again, but I think that's what it was. I don't know if that means anything to anyone. Okay, completely changed. 180. I can't even. Okay, completely changed 180. I'm just bringing myself back to these cards. So with this card, let's see. Maybe they're trying to show you that they've changed. There's something about them that's different. Or maybe they feel you have changed because we are asking about how they see you, Pole 2. And so this person might have known you for a long while and they might feel like in the past you were quite different. But they could be using that as an excuse for, um, oh, I can't talk to you, you've completely changed. But in truth, they're feeling a bit threatened, okay? You may have completely changed, but it could actually be a really positive change. From what I can see, it is a positive change because you're in your personal power. You're holding the key here and you're speaking your truth. You're speaking um, out on your own behalf. You're really valuing your self-love and you're taking your time in moving towards things just to be sure that they feel right to you, that they are where you really want to go. So if they're saying to you or they're, you know, they're saying to you, you've really changed or they're holding back. It's more about them than it is about you, I feel. That will only connect with some people caught out there. So that's like someone being caught trying to take the, um, the dough, right? The cookie dough or whatever it is. So maybe this is why you're in this hermit mode with someone because they got caught out doing something that you know, you just thought, no, I'm just going to change this whole situation. I'm going to back off and I'm going to make sure that I am only letting things in that feel right for me. Heart on their sleeve. 
Ah, okay. So maybe this is connecting here. So perhaps this person feels like they have let their feelings or their thoughts or what they want slip. So you know more about where they're coming from than they know about from where you're coming from. Remember when I first laid your cards out, pile two, I said to you that I felt this person um, felt that they were more interested in you than perhaps you were in them. That could have to do with this. Perhaps they feel like they've been um, transparent, whether deliberately or not deliberately, and they've exposed their hand, like they've let you know they're interested in um, whatever it is they're interested in, whether it's a relationship, a connection, an alliance, a business partnership, whatever. And now because you are sitting back and thinking about it and you haven't, uh, you're weighing it up, you're making sure it feels right for you, you're taking your time, which is good, okay? You're taking your time, maybe you've been burnt before and you feel like I'm not entering into a relationship either with this person because you've been burnt with them or with anyone because you know, you, you want to be sure, or I'm not entering into a partnership with someone because I want to be sure, not just yet, I want to be sure. Um, whatever it is, you're taking your time and this person feels exposed. And rather than just say, look, it's okay if pile two decides no, or if pile two doesn't go ahead and doesn't contact me about this, or doesn't say anything more about this, if you are in contact regularly. Instead of just being okay with that, they're getting all caught up in it and thinking it's a personal reflection of them rather than accepting that it may or may not be, be right for you. It may or may not feel right for you. The timing may or may not be right. There are a whole lot of factors that come into it and they're not necessarily about this person, okay? For example, it might be this person wants a relationship with you and you might feel like, I want to take time, I want to see how I feel about it and they might um, be just like, oh, I've shown that I'm interested and now, you know, they're getting a little bit funny about it because, you know, they've shown their hand by expressing interest. They might not have completely said, I want a relationship, but they might have just shown they're attracted to you or something. And rather than just letting that be and leaving it and letting things work out, they're um, getting maybe defensive or feeling like, oh, Pol 2 is not interested in me because they didn't straight away jump at the chance. Okay, but I get a sense of you, Pol 2, just wanting to take your time and really make sure that things feel right to you, that feel aligned to you here. Okay. Mm, okay, so let's have a look at these cards. Self-reflection brings answers. So they see you as someone who is deep in self-reflection, which is a theme that we've had going on through this whole, whole um, set of cards. Definitely as someone who's self-reflecting. It's self-care to say no. So maybe you've said no to other things and they feel, or to them, who knows, and they feel like maybe they, maybe not many people have said no to this person or maybe they just don't feel like it's okay to say no themselves for whatever reason. But you are very much recognising that it's okay to say no here. Hmm, interesting set of cards, Pile 2. How you treat yourself will show others how to treat you. So this could be a big part of um, what's going on for you, Pile 2. And I'd love to know if you're connecting with this one in particular because how you treat yourself absolutely does show others how to treat you. And, you know, I'm not necessarily saying that you need to go out and train people how to treat you because, you know, that's a lot to ask, okay? I just feel like you stay firm, keep your boundaries. This is just my personal belief. Keep your boundaries and you'll know the people that are going to 
respect them okay i don't really feel you should have to consciously go out and say i'm going to make this lesson because that's a lot of time and work that's not really your work to do right so it's just about keeping your boundaries and i feel like this is what you're doing you're keeping in your lane you're holding your boundaries you may for some of you would like a connection with this person but i don't get that you're rushing in you're taking your time and some of you haven't yet even not noticed this person or seen the full potential like you might know they're attracted to you but like i said earlier a lot of people are attracted to you so does it mean that you're going to jump at every single one no not necessarily so you know it's you're going to take your time and see if there's more depth than just attraction it's like am i going to um entertain you you might be thinking and have a relationship with you just because you like my outward appearance because there needs to be something more that this could be your thinking so you may be just exploring or just waiting to see what develops or just not even waiting just doing your own thing and if something develops it develops but this person seems to um for some of you and it will only be a few be thinking that i've expressed that i'm attracted to pile two so why is nothing happening and taking it as kind of a you know they're so abundant they're so lovely and they they've got it all together but they keep me at arm's length and how am i going to get closer but you know they need to recognize that um there's more to you than just this outward abundance there's a lot of depth here and sure this reading talks about how they see you and we're talking about the outer and the inner and all of this but this person needs to consider that you're a person who is going to look at them and say, do you see me as more than just this? Okay, just this Ten of Pentacles, just this outer, outer beauty, you know, regardless of gender. Do you see me as more than what you see when you look at me? Okay, do you see the whole of me and is there more to our connection as well because it's not just that what they see in you then you need to feel it too it needs to be reciprocal and for many people there needs to be a, a chemistry too you know there needs to be that that something else so depending on where you're coming from and what you feel because it will be different for everyone and you know when I'm talking about that chemistry that's not just in relationships if you're entering into some sort of partnership where someone says to you let's form a I don't know I'll just think of something off the cuff like let's create a cafe together okay are you going to do that with someone who you feel like it just doesn't feel quite right there's something you know outwardly it looks like we would work well together but there's something not quite sitting right well for me personally I would just hold back because you know that's not a, a risk I'd want to take but that's the kind of energy I'm getting from you. This person would be happy to just move straight into whatever this alliance is they want to take with you because they see you as having it all, making it happen, being able to bring a lot to the table, but not really sitting back and looking at what they're bringing to the table and not just what they're bringing to the table, but how does this connection gel? And for some of you, it gels great and and it, you know it's amazing and there's mutual attraction, but it hasn't yet unfolded okay and without it unfolding there can't be a relationship there can't be a partnership there can't be an alliance because you're not going to move on it because you understand the importance of respecting you know your boundaries and you understand the importance of reflecting on yourself what your needs are and how you operate within partnership with people okay all right, I hope that I covered that. And I'm going to, did I pull all of the um, Oracle cards? Okay, I'll pull some charms here for those that do like them. And then I might just shuffle out some of the cards I've been writing on just to finish off. So Spirit, showing me please, four pile two, what? Charms would be helpful to them in terms of these messages. Okay. 
This is that little emoji face. I always think that, oh look, the little emoji's nearly rubbed off. I always think that this reminds me of the, um, of lots of texts. So maybe you speak and communicate with this person over text. Tarot, perhaps one or both of you is a tarot person, like does tarot themselves. Or maybe you're looking for guidance or they're looking for guidance on this on tarot. A through tarot. We've got Pisces there. We've got P, upside down P, binoculars. Yeah, this person's watching you closely. I am not joking. This crab, it is constantly everywhere. And even the cards, I'm getting um, Cancerian energy everywhere. Uh, G and U. I'll put that there for the up. Okay, there's only a few there. Let's just pull a few of these cards. I do feel like um, with up there and also from the other cards that this person feels being around you elevates them in some way. Like that you would be someone they'd be very proud to be around, very... Um, you know, like being connected with. Time to heal. So perhaps they see you as taking time to heal from something. I remember special dates. I wonder if you do. And look, these aren't all um, about relationships either. You feel like home. Wow, but you're getting lots of them. And notice me. And boundaries. Let's just pull one more. So for many of you, this could be about a connection and stubborn. So they could even be saying to themselves that you're being stubborn. One more. You're in my dreams. I cannot um, believe that you have so many in here that are connected with relationships because I have star signs in here. I have one-off words that are not necessarily to do with um, romance, but a lot of yours do seem like romantic connections. So many of you called to pile two, like I was saying from that lover's card, this could be someone who wants a romantic connection with you. And there could also, with special dates, be some sort of history here with this person. You're in my dreams, time to heal. It doesn't have to be um, a past, but there could be for some of you. Okay, poll two, that is what I have for you. I hope it was helpful. If it was and you're not subbed, I'd love you to join the channel if you find the reading helpful. I'm hoping to get, you know, at least one possibly two um, readings out a week and or two or three if I'm lucky. I'm seeing how I go with things and um, anyway, sending you lots of love and hopefully see you next time. Bye. Okay, beautiful pile three. Let's pop your stone over here, your crystals up there. We'll put your five of pentacles here. Let's have a look. We've got the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the Eight of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Two of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> So pile three, when I was laying out the first cards, the initial three cards, 
in the intro, I was actually feeling like pole three was going to be connected to perhaps someone who you had um, been in a connection with and there was some kind of separation. And now that the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords are on the table and I'm seeing the full set of cards here in front of me, I'm very much getting a feeling that this is someone who feels like they have a lot of regret around either not being able to be with you and continue a connection that you had or not being able to actually get a connection off the ground here. I feel for most of you, it's about a past connection that didn't work out. And the reason I say that is I'm also um, picking up on an energy of regret here. With this Nine of Swords, there feels like there could be some hurt left over on both sides potentially. And I feel like you were more than likely the one that walked away, although it can be flipped. But whatever happened here, this person seems to be recognising that at the time the two of you um, were connected, there was a lot of potential in this connection and they may not be particularly proud of their actions or the way that they handled things. The other thing that's coming through here is that this person seems to be feeling like you are making a really good go at rebuilding your world, at getting things together, perhaps learning some new skills, really recreating things um, differently in your life and putting whatever happened between the two of you behind them. And if it never did get off the ground for the, those of you who connect with that message, at just moving on from the lost opportunity that was there. But there does feel like there does feel like an energy of this lingering and also an energy of this person having a bit of a, I want to I want to word this the right way, is how I'm feeling it, having a bit of an energy of wanting to imagine coming towards you and ex either explaining or apologising for some of their actions, but I'm not sensing it as them actually making solid plans to do that. I'm getting it more of, of being about them thinking about what it would be like to do that, to relieve themselves of these thoughts that are on replay for them. But not an energy, like I said, of them necessarily putting those plans into action at this point at least. Um, with the Queen of Swords here too, regardless of gender, as I always say, they may be quite aware or have it in their head that if they were to come towards you, they wouldn't necessarily get met with a very positive reception or you wouldn't be open to necessarily hearing them at all. And I feel like they're up in their head about this. I feel like you are still moving through the hurt of whatever happened here, but that you are rebuilding, you are refocusing, you are restructuring. I, the guilt I get, I get that there's an energy of them recognising now after the event what happened or what, what their part was to play in this. And I know this reading is about how they view you, but they seem to be viewing you as someone that they didn't... Um, recognize their worth when they had the opportunity so whether that opportunity was like I said when the two of you were in a connection or whether that opportunity was just when you and them that you were a part of their life or their surroundings whatever that was they seem to be looking back at that and saying well okay that was then and nothing came of it in terms of us having a future together and now I have to accept that and see that pile three is moving forward. So what I want to do here, and, and I also have to acknowledge that I may have hurt pile three, but pile three is resilient and pile three is moving on. And now I'm the one that's got to acknowledge that I can't just forget what I did. Okay, it's not so easy. It's not so easy just to forget. Um, that particularly if they still have feelings lingering. So let's go over, I want to go over to this Eight of Pentacles because I feel like this is your current energy. To 
Two of Swords in reverse. Just want one more for that piece, Spirit. Okay, so a couple of things here with this Two of Swords and Nine of Pentacles in reverse here. There's seems to be for some of you, and of course, I just want to preface this pile three by saying this message obviously won't resonate with everyone, and those who it's not resonating with have probably clicked out by now. But if it's not vibing with you and it doesn't feel like your story, that's okay. You know, you could choose another pile or another reading or whatever, that's okay. But if you're still here, um, I'm going to be delving deeper into these because I feel that this message is coming through pretty strongly. So here we go. <laughs> All right. So the Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Swords in reverse. What I'm getting for these cards is that you're looking back on whatever happened in this connection and you could be saying to yourself that your self-image and your self-esteem at the time when all of this was going on, whatever it was, it would be different for different people, was um, you're in an energy of doubting yourself, not feeling empowered, not recognizing your worth, and perhaps not seeing what was going on. If your autonomy or your um, sense of self-worth was being under valued or undermined you may not have felt like you might feel now that you weren't recognizing it at the time and you're not going back to that place you're working very hard at rebuilding um, your self-love rebuilding your outer world and your inner world so to me this is about you really seeing clearly the pathway that you have walked and that can involve processing some stuff along the way. And some of you may even be, you know, doing some work just specifically around that, around processing where I've come from in this connection or wherever it was and where I'm at now and what are my goals in terms of, you know, setting some boundaries in terms of my self-love, in terms of feeling like I can um, recognize if people are overstepping with me all of these kinds of things, but there seems to be like a real recognition of whatever happened and a real understanding, like a real depth of understanding for you. And this is what I feel. I want to grab the deck. This is what I feel is um, suddenly opening up all these new avenues for you. Okay, these new avenues to explore. And this person... Sorry, I'm just trying to get this card off the table. This person may even be in a position of being able to see you in some way. So it might not be in real life. It could be on social media or perhaps they hear about you and what you're doing in your life and you're making a lot of progress, a lot of headway. So the person who you were when you were around them could look very different. Even as I said, look, it could even be outwardly. You may look very different to how you were when you are around them. So let's explore that a little more deeply. No, let's grab these cards because we've got the whole deck then. Spirit, show me more about pile three and how this person sees them. Or how did they see you then? Let's have a look at how they saw you then. Or what was going on for you then? Yeah. So there's that Eight of Pentacles. How interesting. So you've got this card here and I asked how they saw you then. So perhaps this person always saw your power, always knew that you had this power. How did you see you then? How did Pulse 3 see themselves when they're in this connection? How did Pulse 3 view themselves? Okay, we've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. One more, please. Okay. 
you know, pole three, there definitely could have been something about you feeling like you couldn't speak your truth here. We've got that eight of wands in reverse and the eight of wands upright is about, you know, messages that come quickly, that come promptly, that um, often they bring good news, but it, I feel like it's in reverse. So you may have felt like you couldn't say things in the moment. We've got this nine of um, wands up above it. I just want to sit with these for a moment. You could have felt like you were always on guard and you had to watch what you what you said. You couldn't just be free with your words. It feels quite defensive there. And look, we've got the six of swords in reverse, but also feeling stuck and like you couldn't move. All right. Let's see how they're seeing you now. So we see they're seeing you as the eight of pentacles now, but let's get some more about how they're seeing you. short um, nails back so I can uh, even then I have trouble picking them up okay so the page of pentacles yes so it's, it's slow and steady but you are rebuilding all right you are recreating some of you are learning like literally learning new things and the moon is in reverse so look you have clarity here you are you're making a new beginning you are able to see things much more clearly they're seeing a um, side of you that they always knew existed, but now you're putting it out into the world. So I don't believe that this person ever really saw you in the light that perhaps you saw yourself in the past. They may not have treated you in the way that they should have, with the respect that they should have, but they always knew that you had this power within you, this power to build, this power to create, this power to bring forth your knowledge and your unique talent, but they um, are now are seeing you put this forth out into the world and to build things, to build something with it, to, to create your future. And even though it's slow and steady and you might feel like you're at the very early stages at the beginning, they're able to see that. You're putting this energy out and making it happen. Okay, show me what else. I want to come down to that bottom row in a minute. it up before but I feel like I want to go back down there okay so when I was just saying a moment ago that I want to go back down to the bottom row <clears throat> I was being very drawn to the structure that's like a, a roof here and to me that was like about a home and possibly some of you did live with this person or had some kind of serious commitment with them and some long background and here we've got the six of cups so there could have been like an ongoing history with this person and you could have had to have um, gone through a significant change in your life that felt like you were losing other people around this connection as well as this connection itself so it could have been like friendship group it could have been extended family that were connected to this person that you valued but i just felt drawn to pull that in just for confirmation for someone that um you know just to give a nod to that so that you know yes that that is being acknowledged that there may have been some hurt around that that there were other connections that were valued and not that this connection wasn't valued but i think that you recognized that it, it wasn't feeling good to you it wasn't feeling right it was stopping you it wasn't allowing you to grow it wasn't allowing you to express yourself it wasn't allowing you to be yourself to speak in, in the moment for some of you it made you feel defensive and this person's recognizing that you've gone from a person who kept everything pretty quiet and um sheltered their own 
opinions and their own voice and is now starting to find a space and bring it out into the world. Look at that, moving forward. Let's move over to your Oracle cards here. So I'm getting Becky, Becky, Beck. Sorry, I was, <laughs> I was getting Becky. I wasn't sure. It sounded like Becky. Bethy, Be Becky, I think it's Becky. Don't know, that's short for Rebecca, right? Rebecca. Okay, we've got crush and burn. And that's definitely how you could have felt when this happened. Because this feels big to me. And we, we've got the nine of swords there, the five of pentacles. So something big um, would have happened here at some point. Spiritual support, you could definitely... Be, um, have called on spiritual support and perhaps that's what you're doing right now and this person's recognizing that this has been a great source of strength for you settling and I'll put that over here you know we're asking how this person sees you this person could even have quite a big ego on them and feel like, oh, well, if they're going to walk away from me, they'd be settling. But deep down they know, deep down they know that this connection wasn't working for you. Identify your triggers. You have, you have identified your triggers and they know that you're very aware. You're not going back, okay? You're not, um, there's no backwards movement in this from what I can see, okay? You don't seem prepared to go to go anywhere except forwards. You've got this three of um, wands here and all of these cards over to the right of the um, spread here look to me like you are full steam ahead, okay? You're moving full steam ahead. And these are the cards that I've been laying out asking about what's happening for you now. So I don't feel like you have any intention of moving back towards this connection whatever it was perhaps they're watching and hoping that you will and you'll go back and settle for this connection but they know also that you have identified that this relationship is triggering for you but there are things that have gone on with this person that you don't resonate with someone thinks you're perfect mm. maybe they're a sweet talker and do you know what? I say that. I say someone thinks you're perfect and maybe they're a sweet talker, but this person actually does. Like I said before, they do know your power. They do know that, you know, you have it all together. Well, I'm not saying that you have worked through everything because it looks to me like you're working through it and we're all always working through things, I think. But they know that you're perfect just as you are. You don't need to change. You had every right to speak your voice, to speak your truth. There was no reason for this person to, for those who connect with the message of them um, feeling maybe threatened by you being independent or speaking your truth if it was in opposition to what they believed. If they tried to you know, not listen to that or, you know, tried to stop you from doing that in some way by just not engaging or anything like that. They know that you're perfect just the way you are. You, you could have been embraced and just, they could have embraced you the way that you are and the relationship could have had the opportunity to thrive, but if they were willing to do that, okay, because there was potential here. They felt a connection with you and I believe at one point you felt a connection with them, but you know, knowing someone's perfect and treating them like you know that are two different things, right? Treating them like you know that they're just perfectly okay the way they are is different to knowing it. Decide that you're confident. This is what you might be doing. You know, the fake it till you make it kind of thing. You are what you believe. So this is about the power of thought. 
and you know when people do affirmations and they have the little stickers stuck up everywhere telling them you know certain particular beliefs and thoughts over and over so that it goes in and sort of rewires the, all the neural pathways this could be what you're working on because perhaps and it doesn't even have to have been from this person it could have gone back further from further than that it could have been certain things that you were taught to believe or that you grew up believing about yourself like it could have been something like i'm a very um, passive person i don't speak my mind or i'm not confident or you know i don't like confrontation or things like that and then if you grew up with those thoughts or those thought uh, patterns or beliefs then you may have just um, continued that in the connection and perhaps you know that worked in this connection with this person for a while but then it didn't work okay then it began to not work for you and you were like I'm not going to stay in a connection where I'm not being listened to because you tried to speak up and this person was like, hang on, why are you being so aggressive, you know, or something like that. And you're like, I'm not being aggressive. I'm just saying what I think. So there could be a big thing going on for you about um, connecting in with the power of your thoughts and what you believe and how they influence your outward world. Okay. So I'm not just talking about manifestation. I'm talking about your beliefs about yourself and how they will impact and influence how you behave in connections and just out with other people you know out in your relationships so this person does see that you're moving through some process but they always saw that you were whole and that you were perfect the way you were but there also seems to have been an awareness about something they may have done in the relationship that they are feeling guilty about. So I'm not sure what that is. It will be different for different people. For some of you, it could have been that they felt they played a part in not listening to you. For others, it could have been other things that happened in the connection that they have some guilt attached to. But I do get that sense. And of course, you only take what resonates with you and fits with your situation. Okay, all right, so pile three, that is heavy, but what I want to do, it's heavy, but it is super beautiful because there's huge transformation there for you. And what I want to do for you before I wrap it up is I want to just pull a few more cards, having a look at um, advice for you because you seem to be going through a big period of transformation and it looks like there is some really beautiful change going on for you. So Spirit, just show me a couple of cards for pile three, please. Just messages from Spirit for them, please. Okay. And, then, and I'll say just a few. How many have I got? Three. Okay. So we've got two of swords. Four. I think these hard when they come out sideways but you know the messages come through they're just triggers for my intuition as I'm reading so some of you may be feeling like I just need to completely block this person in because you're worried about them coming back in and if they re-enter or you have any contact with them you might be worried about them getting back into your life somehow or reversing like going backwards but I feel like spirit saying to you that it's not going to happen. You're on a new pathway here, okay? Yeah, you've got the tower in reverse there. So, look, I really don't feel that um, that you're going to go backwards. I feel like you've made a lot, lot more progress than what you feel you have, perhaps, and that you, with this four of pentacles, don't be hard on yourself, pile three. Just relax a little bit and just trust that it took a lot to get you to this point, okay? And part of that, um, just getting from the point of wherever you were, wherever you've come from to get to this point where you are now, has involved a very, um, very long process already, okay? So it's not as if it's just going to take the flick of a switch and you'll be all the way back. I feel like you have made a lot of movement and if you feel like you need support, the other thing I'm getting is don't be afraid to reach out for anyone. Let go of any desire to just hold back 
um, and do everything for yourself because there could have been a sense in this past situation, whether it was a connection or whether you just had this person around you and the relationship never got off the ground because you didn't feel like it was going to be respectful and you were in a place where you weren't really feeling empowered or whatever that was. Um, don't be afraid to reach out to anyone because you feel like you need to do everything yourself and keep everything to yourself. You might have a sense that you will go further if you don't have to explain anything to anyone or tell them where you want to go or what you want to achieve. But I feel like there are a lot of people out there who want to support you and help you and that it's by putting your foot forward, like with this page of Wands Energy, putting your foot forward and just reaching out there. We go Six of Pentacles, just reaching out um, to people and just telling your story to people that you feel comfortable to. You'll be really surprised how many people have shared common experiences, like shared similar experiences, who understand the pathway that you're on. And yeah, I just get a sense that some of you may be holding back, trying to keep everything together, do everything. There could be some... Um, inhibitions about take I don't it doesn't feel like uh doesn't feel like pride it feels to me like almost like you don't want to take people's time up or something but you know you you're worthy this is about you building your self-esteem and like I said they decide you are confident okay decide you're confident decide you are worthy because you are and decide that there are people out there who are your allies who want to help you and there are and reach out to those people if you feel called to and know that um, there's plenty of love out there in the world and plenty of good people out there in the world who will stand by your side and help you through this process whatever it is for different people and if there's someone you've left behind which I'm assuming there is if you've gotten to this point of, of pile three that um, you're worried is going to cycle back in I feel like a support network around you will really help to keep you strong from returning to any connection so just don't vibe with you anymore or don't feel just don't feel resonant. Don't feel like they're empowering you to be yourself and to speak your truth and to and make that make you feel like you have to watch what you say because there's nothing worse than well there probably aren't worse things but there it's a horrible thing to have to feel like you're walking on eggshells. That's not a nice thing. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Pile Three. I'm not sure if I went off on a tangent there, but this person sees you as someone who is um, definitely stepping into your power. Part three, I nearly forgot your um, charms for those who like the charms. So let's quickly pull some charms here. Spirit showing me for part three, please. Okay. We've got Aries, we've got a little helmet, like a little hard hat, a mask, so this might be what you felt you had to do, Pile 3, you might have felt like you have lived a lot of um, time wearing a mask, not being able to fully express yourself. And this person might say that you are taking this mask off and putting this little hat on instead and just weathering whatever comes your way and expressing yourself just as you want to be, being yourself, okay? Not worrying about being what other people want you to be. I'm getting um, some really strong messages come through about that lately. So, yeah, that could definitely be what this is about. Pisces, lips, yes, yeah, speaking your truth. This is big for you, pile three. They're seeing you as someone who is speaking your truth. Another hat. So with a couple of hats here, and there's another mask. Oh, wow. 
maybe it's also about um, other connections too. Like not just you taking your mask down and being authentically fully yourself and not letting other people try and stop you from expressing yourself, but making sure that connections and other people who connect with you are also coming at you with no mask. Okay, so aligning with people who really are accepting of you and are prepared to show their truth selves. And with these hats here, different hats, that to me um, makes me feel like this person is seeing you step into different roles, okay? Take on new experiences, show different aspects of yourself to the world, different aspects perhaps that they didn't see in you or that you didn't get to express when you were around them. I just want to pull a couple more. Here. We've got Capricorn. We've got the torch. Yeah, I do feel like this person is pretty stuck on you. Fearless. That's the energy. I love that beautiful pile three. The planet. There could be something here for you about um, becoming the center of your own world because that's what I'm getting with this ring around this planet. That this is about uh, you have spent a lot of time maybe focusing on other people and being like a support to others or to one other person, probably this person that you're asking about, and now you're going to be the center and, and take some support from others too. Don't be afraid to reach out for that support like I was just talking about a moment ago. And look at that, no, don't be afraid to say it, pile three. And this may be a big part of what you're embracing. Your, um, I love that those lips right with it okay not being afraid to say no this is a big part perhaps of your journey some of you may have um, been having some issues in the past with people pleasing or being told that you know you really should do this for people or don't you care about me why aren't you helping you've got the time to do it and now you're saying I don't have to say yes I can say no and there doesn't need to be anything further after that it's a complete sentence no Okay, so I love that for you. It's beautiful, Pile 3. This energy is just so gorgeous. Even if you are at the early stages and you're just doing this sometimes, I feel like that is a massive step um, from where you may have come from in a place where you might have felt like, I can't really say what I'm thinking or I can't say what I'm feeling. I need to keep it wrapped up and worry about someone else's feelings as a priority. Now you're recognizing your feelings matter and where you're at matters here. And you're gonna have these authentic connections because there's two here. You're going to experience new things, okay? Be the center of your world and you're gonna say no when you feel like it. I love it. This person's really seeing you embrace your power. Absolutely. I hope that, um, I hope that those of you who resonated with this message stayed for these charms because I feel like these messages from spirit are just so, spot on um, for those of you who have been through what that whole spread talked about. Okay, pile three, sending you a mountain of love, an ocean of love. And if you haven't joined the channel, I'd love you to if you haven't already. And I hopefully will see you again next time, whether you do or not. Okay, see you later. Bye. -bye.